Now this is a fantastic price. It sold for strong money. I mean, how much did that just cost me? Huh? Welcome back to the channel. Got a few orders at E. What do I keep doing this for? <laughs> I've got a few orders that need. What was what was that about? <laughs> I've got a few order. I've got a few orders that need to go out, so it's just, oh, it's just I can't help it. It's just it's, what's the word? Not hand punctuations. I've got a few orders that need to go out. <laughs> I've got a few orders that need to go out, so we're going to pick those and get those shipped off today and get them gone. It's the day after that I went on to Nick and Andrea's stream, which was a lot of fun. If I'm honest, I don't normally do things like that. Not anymore. At the beginning I did, but not anymore. The scene just doesn't bother me like that. But I thought I'd agree and give it a go. And I'm so glad that I did because I had a lot of fun. It was nice going back and forward with two people who have been at it longer than I have. Like a lot longer. I don't just mean like a few years. I mean, they've been at it a lot longer than I have. So it's nice to be asked questions by and have a perspective and an opinion from people like that so nick and andrea i appreciate it if you haven't seen the video go to their channel and check it out it's really good so no idea how that's going to look in the edit let's go pick some freaking order shall we i'm losing my mind uh what have i got to do one of the things nick said was how he puts out a lot of videos where it's just like him his his words were rambling and it's all one shot so he just has to do like a couple of cuts whereas my videos as you know and it'll be this one as well because i haven't planned this one to be like that my videos are all cut 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 i cut all the long breaths out or as many as i can as many sniffs and sniffles and all those things and when the video gets slow like if i'm sitting there thinking and then i speak that bit there gets cut out so i'll do loads and loads of cuts but I'm going to try in the future to do some Nick and Andrea style videos where it's just. Does that make sense? Basically, I was inspired, so it is what it is. Right. First up, we have box A. Scooby-Doo current cost. Oh, that's it. Right, let me go get those. Box A. Right, that's those two. Can I remember what was in box C? I know there's something in here. Let's see if I can remember just by looking at it. Yes. The trainers. One of the first sales from sourcing myself again. Paid five pounds for these. And this is a whopping sale. You wait until you see this one. I've already preloaded it with a couple of freebies. Absolute whopping sale. But it's still sold cheap, believe it or not. We'll get into it. That's annoying. There was actually something else in there. I need to go back in there, otherwise I'll lose the skill on that. That's listed for like 18 pounds. Somebody sent me a five pound offer, free postage. They got blocked. Right, D is, should be a Carlsberg one. Wait, maybe it's Royal Mail. Right, there's two more there. Oh, that's box D as well. So annoyingly, I left something else in box D. Right, then we've got box Q and Q. Where is box Q? Down here. I'm going to see if I can remember what it was. It was definitely that. I've got an offer on that, so I'm going to accept it. So I'm going to pull that out. That. Where's the Star Wars toys? I think they're in the box. Up there. Although I have sold this as well. Hopefully I can pull this out. Without causing a mayhem. Just two more things. It says shelf in box, but I don't know where the box is. I know these have gone, so we'll take them. Ah, there they are. They sold quite cheap. You'll see what they are all in a minute. We'll see what it all is in a minute. That's the orders picked, but before I pack them, I'm going to show you what sold, how much I got for them, and do it all before I fall over and break my neck and die. But first, I am going to have a quick coffee 
and the vape. I am gonna quit vaping today once this one's gone, it's over. And I'm going to do a quit vaping journey thing on TikTok, short, quick videos. A friend of mine personally, I say friend, I've never met the guy, but Callum, I love you, has recently blown up doing it. And a lot of people on TikTok have blown up doing it. So not only will it hopefully get me to quit vaping because otherwise no vape, no content, or vaping and no content kind of thing. I can build a TikTok following on there as well and get into the partner program because that's what I want from that app. There's a lot of potential with it. So, coffee and a vape until it dies and then hopefully that's me done. I'm going to put my TikTok in the description for once. I don't normally do that. Go over and follow it. I'm trying to keep it as more of an everything page, like a dump page, a topic page, not specifically just reselling, although there's reselling on there. So, um, link down below. So first things first, the most annoying thing I've got to pack is actually this accordion. Is it called an accordion? Something like that, electric organ thing. It's probably the most annoying thing I've got to pack today, which is great, but it sold for £22.78 all in. So minus fees and postage, it's not a lot, is it? It's very dusty. Covering the labels. The pre-existing labels on the reused box, just to avoid any confusion in the warehouse when it gets there. Sugar. That's how I said sugar there. When I was on Nick and Andrea's stream last night, I was very aware that I've got a very potty mouth. A very potty mouth. I'm very sweary. And they are not sweary people. So, apologies about that, Nick and Andrea viewers. Right, what is next on the agenda? Euphoria CD, £4.69 all in. My favourite kind of sales. Done. <laughs> I want more of that. I want more of that. I still use every on that at £2.69. I don't need to do large letter because they always come back. They always say like, they didn't arrive. I've, I just, I've just always had it. Always, 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 especially with media. So I'd rather just make a pound on it than make £2.20, wherever it is, and let it stay. The only reason why I listed it, because it's one of those things that I didn't check before photographing. Sometimes I'll just fill a box up with stuff, photograph it all, and deal with it when I get home. And like I've said before, if I've already gone through researching it to find out it was only worth three or four quid, at that point, I've taken the photos, I've done the research, might as well just list it. So that's what I did. Right, what's next? Oh, another easy one. Sold for fifteen pound three pence in total. Now, even though it's nice and easy to pack, I will still double whammy this one because um, I don't want it to break. And for me to wrap it up after I've finished making it secure like this, it's going to be very small for a label. I mean, I could wrap it around there, but what's the point? <laughs> I love these packaging ones. I love these ones to pack. Fuck me, how much did that just cost me? Huh? That just cost me six quid to send. Is that going to a weird postcode or something? Baith, where's that? It's gonna be fucking Scottish Highlands or somewhere, isn't it? Ayrshire. Scotland. Fucking hell. I'm not, I've got Scotland blocked, especially the Highlands. I'm gonna block the whole of Scotland. I'm sick of it, man. I don't even care, you don't miss out on much. I've had most of them blocked for the whole four or five years I've been doing this again on eBay. I haven't drowned, have I? I'm always a life out of me. We should have used two freaking envelopes now. Don't deserve two envelopes. He owes me two envelopes. <sighs> oh well. 
Oh, there's that big one. You wait until you see this one coming up. My God. A bit iffy though. I had I had a note on the sale and then I've had a DM as well after. I'll tell you. Right, these I bought for £5 from a charity shop just the other day. Merrill's sold for. I haven't listed for like 49 Sent me on for 38 free postage. I went, yeah, go on then, boy. Go on then, boy. I wonder if they fit straight in there. Sort of squares off the shape of it. If I can find a bit of scrap card, that's doable, that is. Beautiful. Obviously, I'm not going to leave that wrapped. Beautiful, look at that, eh? Nice and easy. Let's fucking check the postage on that. £2.94, like it should be. I mean, we'd all want it cheaper, wouldn't we? But £5 to send a little £6 even. It's not like we've got to cross the channel or anything. Merrill, £5.38 without consignment in three days. I still got it. There's another frog that I'm actually not chewing, and that's them Laura Ashley lamps at the minute. Flymo, let's get that out of the door. Nice and easy. 13 quid all in. So probably about eight quid profit after. Just a blade. That may still record them. This one should be nice and easy as well. Scottish electric electricity checker meter thing. 25 quid all in. These are honestly my favourite kinds of things to pack. 20 quid plus items and nice and easy. More of those please. Scooby Doo in the gang, where are you? Scooby figures, 9.99 all in, just nice and cheap. Pretty simple. I am still going to box it because they could break in transit. Just use one of these Timu boxes, I think. Might seem like overkill for that, but the value of the item should never dictate the quality of your packaging. Because if it breaks, it's going to cost you more in the long run because you have to refund them, don't you? So just pack it right the first time. I might show you this big sale now, actually, because I don't know if I'm going to bother to pack anymore after this. Because I think it's just the lamps and that, I think. And if it is, I'll show you. Oh, no, there's not. There's a couple more to do before that. Warmail Coach sold for £15 all in. That was a perfect little box for that, weren't it? little steam iron box for a little steam engine yeah let's send this one off as well let's get this one gone as well we've got a man frotto with a quick release head got this for myself to use for photography videos whatever else i'm doing and it's just way too much than what i need so sold it took an offer and sold it for 35 quid mucker bargains out here Doing well on the box front today. That was nice and easy. One of Emma's FM World boxes. Don't forget, if you do want perfume and aftershave and things like that, that smell like the real thing or like the original without being fake. It's a likeness. Emma can get all that for you. Let me know, I'll send you a link. I use them every single day. The Aftershave and the body spray, always. Lasts all day, smells pucker. All right, what's next? The lamps, I'm probably gonna leave them. The Star Wars stuff, might leave them for a tomorrow job as well. So we've got a bunch of Star Wars stuff, 90s Kenner, about 95 to 97. I ran an auction starting at 20 pound, all it got was a 20 pound starting bid, plus four online postage. Oh well, that's okay. And these vintage Laura Ashley lamps, I've got a pair. 
but as you can see the candly thing has started to corrode and it sort of cracks in your hand and just melts away they sold for 39 pounds all in for a pair so shall i show you the big boy the big boy very happy with this sale for a few reasons firstly it achieved a nice price not the best price but a nice price secondly it's actually going to be quite easy to pack i've pre-packed most of it this is a big stack of graham farish trains and a couple of pico carriages the locomotives themselves are actually like a die cast metal or whatever they call it and a lot of the carriages are plastic but this is a fantastic little bundle this is they look like they've been immaculately looked after but i don't have the capacity to check them while i was listing them i could have waited and bought a power supply and a bit of track and whatever else but i thought i'm just gonna lay them all out do an auction starting at that was my reminder that just kicked in i've got a tv that sold on facebook marketplace and i have to remember to take it home but did a starting bid at 50 quid and just let it run until the last couple of hours it didn't really receive much more than that 50 to 80 then I screen recorded it for the last couple of minutes and it went from 50 to 80 to 105 to 210 to 250 to 300 to 320 and then it ended and i was like oh, okay cool 320 had that nice surprise where somebody got a sneak in and it went to 340 pound now this is a fantastic price it sold for strong money but if i was to go through and individually list these especially after being tested i probably could have got nearer to the six to seven hundred pound mark so the man has got a very 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 good deal here and i've done okay out of it as well so graham farish and pico mainly graham farish you'll see on the bottom of the train grafar graham farish so it's not just your hornbees or your lemurs and all those other type of things i'd never heard of graham farish either but now i do now i know we're done all right so i'm going to pack those up and that's where i'm going to leave the video today guys thank you so much for joining me i appreciate your time if you did enjoy the video consider giving it a thumbs up and if you haven't already please do subscribe for future videos that sun has just got very very bright so i'm going to open that window and absorb it take care thank you so much and i'll see you on the next one see ya quickly going to splice this into the video somewhere i forgot that i got all of these stickers didn't i so anybody who wants a sticker comment down below and i'll pick somebody at random maybe a few of you, there you go. what a beautiful piece of art eh? connor 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 so those of you that receive one, once you have stuck it where you're going to stick it, or stick it where you're going to stuck it, tag me on Instagram, Ricky Resells, and I'll reshare it. Cheers. <laughs>